Uh, well, batching into this evening's final uh, update for Christmas. It's a 20th update. We've got to a nice round uh, 20. Um, been doing it since the start of November, so thanks very much to everybody for sticking with it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the updates. Uh, also, of course, thanks to everybody who's gone uh, to do their Christmas, sh their Christmas shopping uh, through Gav's shop at Amazon. Um, Going to do one last update. I think we've had the pattern for uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day pretty well uh, sorted out for a good uh, week or so now, really. It's beyond that that we've had a lot of uh, confusion within the models um, about where things are going in the post-Christmas, pre-New Year uh, period. I think Certainly, with the GFS, means could be getting a little bit more, uh, a little bit more sorted out tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the charts in a moment. Probably not all that great if you was hoping uh, for a prolonged cold spell. But it's an answer what it was showing me this morning. So uh, who knows what's going to happen? Uh, really, it, we seem to have agreement between the GFS operational and parallel now uh, for post Christmas. But uh, maybe there'll be one final twist who knows i'll show you the charts in a moment just say about the ads there's links to articles uh sitting uh, on most of the page at gas i go have a browse through those widgets any articles that you're interested in just click through there's yellow weather related ads on most of the pages as well so have a look at those and click through those if there's anything uh that you're interested in right let's do it one last time in a missing chart for a christmas eve from the gfs operational um as you know very mild uh, today going to be very mild again tomorrow away from scotland i mean chris we bring this cold from free the country, a weak feature, and it turns cooler and fresher behind that. So with the upper air temperatures, they're cooling off through the course of Christmas Eve. Not cold, but cooler than uh, Monday, Tuesday. The uh, precipitation shows that it's very dry once that uh, weak car front clears away from the south. That'll go first in the morning on Christmas Eve. Lots of dry weather, just some showers around northern and western facing coast. They could be wing tree over the higher ground. Um, so for northern Scotland, you could see a few flakes of snow on Christmas Eve. Uh, temperatures for Christmas Eve will be cooling, probably starting off quite mild actually in the south. Could be around 10, 11 degrees first in the morning, but it'll be one of those days where the highest temperature occurs first being, I mean, it drops off uh, through the course of the day so finishing up in single figures for most parts of the country generally quite widespread frost on uh, christmas eve evening and overnight into christmas day um temperatures at least down to two or three degrees in rural areas we could go below freezing so uh, when you wake up on christmas morning it could well be white uh, certainly on the grass in many places from uh, frost and uh, in rural locations it'll be, be a little bit more uh, widespread than that Christmas Day itself looks like a mainly dry day under this ridge of high pressure. We've had that pretty much nailed down for uh, about a week to ten days now. Um, lots of dry weather through the course of Christmas Day then underneath that high pressure. A few snow flurries across the northeast of Scotland. So Aberdeen, if you want a last minute effect on a white Christmas, remember just one snowflake has to fall on a designated weather centre. Aberdeen could be the place that sees a few flakes of snow um, on Christmas Day. But generally lots and lots of dry weather, just a few winter showers showers coming down the eastern coast pretty chilly day as well temperatures in the north two or three degrees in the south probably something like five to nine something like that so quite cool but uh we certainly had cold and nothing like the severe cold at christmas 2010 now as we move through into uh, boxing day we start to get a change uh, for Boxing Day. The high pressure will begin to slip away to the south, allowing this area of low pressure to uh, begin to come through. We start off Boxing Day on a frosty note. It'll be a hard frost on Boxing Day morning. So overnight, Christmas night into Boxing Day, temperature could be down to minus 3, minus 4 degrees quite wide. The event will us into a nice fine start on Boxing Day, but then that high pressure is declining away to the south, allowing low pressure to come in. So after a fine frosty start, we'll find wet and windy weather spreading into Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, some of that rain will be quite heavy, but down in the south and the southeast, it should stay mainly dry through the whole of Boxing Day down there. Quite a cold day uh, with temperatures 3, 4 or 5 degrees, and certainly feeling quite cold in that wet and windy weather. We move through into Saturday, and this is when all the complications have been coming through. We get this area of low pressure running to the north of Scotland, pulling the winds down into the north for a time, but I don't think uh, that's going to last too long, certainly not on uh, the evidence of tonight but we do get a brief northerly blast uh, going through the end of Saturday into Sunday so midnight Sunday we're bringing those northerlies down across the coast but notice already the high pressure is beginning to decouple from uh, Greenland and Iceland starting to slip back south
help us again into the central part of the Atlantic. And very quickly, that starts to cut off that northerly supply uh, through the course of Sunday the 28th. Nevertheless, that is a cold snap of around 24 to 36 hours from uh, midday uh, uh, Saturday in towards the end of Sunday. It will be quite cold. There could be snow showers in the north and the east in particular. But uh, the idea that this could extend out into a colder spell has gone on tonight's GFS midday run because go through the Monday 29th that high pressure is slipping back into France allowing the mile west to south westerlies to uh, topple over the top of the high pressure bring the high, bring mild air back in from the Atlantic so it's Tuesday the 30th and then on into New Year's Day it's quite mild pushing those westerlies through it could be rain at times particularly in the northwest mostly dry down in the south southeast but certainly it's a milder flow now the GFS parallel run is in agreement really with its operational for the first time in a long time uh, tonight we've got the parallel run running alongside the main GFS and the parallel will become the main GFS uh, model as we go through into uh, January so for Saturday again it's wet and windy in the south turning colder in the north uh, bringing snow showers into Scotland and Northern Ireland that could be uh, quite significantly cold for parts of Scotland we get back northerly blasting down the country uh, midnight on Sunday 28 so that to, back to Cupring Snow to the north uh, we do have to watch out for uh, rain possibly turning to snow down in the south and southeast for a time probably won't amount to too much but uh, it's quite a dramatic switch from mild air to cold air so we may get an undercut down in the south and get some flakes of snow for a time that'll be one to keep an eye on and the parallel does keep that northerly going into Sunday the 28th as well remember by this time the operational GFS was cutting off the normally but the parallel keeps it going so that could bring snow showers particularly to the north and the east but any places could get snow showers uh, on Sunday the 28th um, with that northerly so that's a little bit better in terms of the duration of the northerly anyway compared to the GFS operational nevertheless by the time you get through to Monday the 29th high pressure is coming back in over the top of the country cutting off that northerly supply but that's within cold air though so it would be very frosty particularly night and morning daytime temperatures probably no more than 2 or 3 degrees so that is cold uh, still into Monday the 29th um, but moving through to Tuesday the 30th the high pressure is beginning to decline probably still cold in the south but totally milder in the north maybe transitional snow for scotland by the time we get through to new year's day we're bringing that mild air in as the high pressure is receding into europe so seemingly we've got some agreement from the gfs tonight with within its operation and parallel runs which is that uh well we've got chris e chris day boxy day sorted out that's okay once we get beyond that we're going to get a wet and windy start Saturday. Could be heavy rain gales, severe gales in places. It will, I think, shift to a northerly uh, for a time later Saturday into Sunday. Then we cut off the northerly. And next week, probably the idea is that we'll turn it milder through the course of week. Starting off pretty cold probably next week. And then gradually warming up towards the new year. But that is still subject to change. It's different from what we were seeing from the GFS operation of parallel runs this morning so uh, there has to be low confidence about that scenario certainly from around Saturday Sunday uh, onwards so uh, let's wait and see how it pans out but uh, that's it that's the final uh, Christmas update uh, I'll still be updating the website tomorrow and on Christmas Eve as well but uh, whatever you're doing over Christmas have a great time hope you enjoy it uh, and I say thanks for sticking with all the updates since the start of November that's all for now thanks for watching